All right, we're going to attempt to fix my center console here, uh, 2007 Trailblazer LT. Um, the problem is that it latches a little bit, but as soon as you hit a speed bump, it pops up, and it drives me crazy. Now, when I had bought this car originally, it was this was the issue with it, and I had them attempt to re uh, fix it before I bought it, and what they did was they hacked in a uh, replacement lever uh, which was a very bad job they actually jammed in some paper behind there to try and space out the actual uh, clip and what the problem with this thing is is actually this should be a post right here that uh, extrudes out from the actual lid and mates up with this hole right here and that was broken off before I got it and I think that is an essential part of this latching system because the latch alone is definitely not holding it down. If you just push it a little bit to the side, it pops up. So I've looked around and I tried to find a replacement, but the only problem is this is a leather, um, leather lid and it's very hard to find and it's expensive if you do find it. So, and that's used. Now we're not talking about new here. We're talking somewhere over a hundred fifty dollars for something that is all a lid that may be in this condition so what I did was I thought my thoughts were if I take all this apart strip the leather cover off it and replace it with one that maybe has a generic um, leather cover or pleather whatever you want to call it maybe I can get away with it and save some money so I went on eBay here and I found a replacement lid with the whole nine yards it's got the latch it's got the uh, well it's got the spring hinge it's got the latch it's got the post that should be there now what I'm thinking of doing is taking this whole thing off undoing all these screws and see if I can strip the, uh, the top part off of this take this one apart take the top leather part off of this and exchange it with the top of this and hopefully I should end up with one complete um, one complete actual lid that works. So, let's see what happens. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these three seven millimeter um, screws that go into this cover here, this lid. And I don't know if I can do this one handed. So, but uh, I think I'm going to save you guys some time here and just edit this part out, and we'll come back with them all pulled out. All right. So I've got these three seven millimeter bolts out. And there's two Phillips screws here and two Phillips screws here. And they're all just right here. Now this should just pop off of here. Like, like so. So this is looking this is looking good. This is good news. So I've got the top off of this and now I should just be able to do the same thing to the other one. Swap interior um, pieces here. And it should be good to go. Now the removal for this lid from the console is you have to take out the opposing three seven millimeter bolts on the lid and this will just pop right off. All right so I've taken those three bolts so seven millimeter bolts off of here and this is my cover my lid and I'm going to do the same procedure of uh, taking it apart. Okay I've got all the bolts out now we'll just lift this up and look at that. See, that. see the damage and the hack job that they did to repair that. But I think without that center post, I think it's all for naught. Because I think that uh, plays an important role of the alignment of the latch. So I take that piece there and take the new one, or well, the new used one, pop it on my old, my old one and bolt that together. Okay, here's the lid all assembled with the uh, new plastic panel. So we're going to put this back on to the, into the hinge location and we're going to give it a shot. Oh, I'm going to give it a, bolt it down and give it a shot. But I suppose I ought to put a bolt in there before that happens again because it's on a spring hinge. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Got it on here. Still got its springiness. 
There it is. I like that's gonna pop open now. That little pin does a lot. It's so easy to open. That locks in really nice now. Excellent. Yeah, it was driving me crazy. You know, every time I hit a speed bump or a pothole, anything, this thing would just pop right up and hit my arm and get in the way when I was driving. So, nice easy fix. Um, it's going to be cheaper than buying the exact same um, lid that you're looking for, especially if it's a leather leather top lid. Um, so check out, uh, you know, check out eBay and just buy the cheapest one that has all its fully functional parts, like the pin is the most important and the latch and make sure that you have nothing you know just look look over this whole plastic piece and make sure there's nothing damaged other than that who cares what the top looks like because you're just going to peel it off and put your own on so if you got one with a slice in it or something like that and you're selling it for cheap money grab it so that's it i hope that helps somebody all right i thought i would point this out before somebody said hey this doesn't work um there is a slight variation in the molding of the lid here. Um, this one flares in and this one flares out. So it didn't make a difference on putting my lid on this console lid, but it made a difference on putting it on this lid. You may have to take a Dremel and cut that part out because it doesn't really fit very well and you can't line the screws up. But the overall size looks to be the same. It's just I think that minor variation might cause an issue with fitting some of these lids on here. So I noticed that mine, if when you seat it down, it kind of goes back a little bit. But it still locks and latches, so I'm happy with that. But if I was to go the other way around here, I think I might have an issue fitting the lid on. But it can be taken care of with a Dremel. But who uh, cares, right? It's just a lid. But as long as it fits and latches and locks, I'm happy. Save myself some money. So, thought I'd help.